Uh, right, we're going to talk a bit about calculus, like we've been talking about on the um, Pro Theory channel on YouTube. Uh, basically, to understand calculus, you don't have to use all the equations, it's not that complicated, it's pretty simple to understand uh, what calculus is, and if you're going to study calculus or use it, then it, it really does help to, to know exactly what you're dealing with. Um, calculus, the word, is Latin for pebble, um, as in a pebble, you know, a, a tiny little stone, a rock. Because um, early number systems, sort of abacus and things, you know, the, the little slidey bits and the tens and units columns. Um, that was how the ancients, if you like, used to uh, count things with little symbols, little counters, um, symbolising ten sheep or animals, or cows, whatever it was. Um, that's what calculus means anyway, it's Latin word for pebble, okay? Right, um, differential calculus, invented independently by two people. One of them was Isaac Newton, so that's the only person I'm going to talk about because it's just relative to where I happen to live. I live near Newton's birthplace, fairly near anyway, um, Wallstorff. Um, anyway, calculus, basically, it's, it's a way to mathematically project um, the, the movement of fluids, really, I think. That's the, that's the main point of it, originally. You've just got to imagine that we've got mathematics, okay, we can measure certain types of speed, we can measure certain types of things like gravity and things like Newtons and stuff, um, certain forces. But if we've got a river flowing along, then how on earth do we predict that mathematically? That's, that's the thing, or some kind of force. Um, you can generalise this in a lot of different ways. But basically, how do you, how do you project um, a mathematical sort of blanket over a river that explains it somehow, if you see what I'm saying? It's, this is what I see anyway. Um, it comes down to basically like splitting it up into tiny little bits because let's say when Newton was inventing calculus, he's seen a river and he wanted he's thinking, how can I measure it? Um, and he used time um, differential um, to, to measure it really, to, to measure the point between tiny little infinite, infinite decimal points. Um, so basically, imagine time, loads of tiny little stopping bits every second or split second or infinitely fast because he's trying to make a, a general model for, the, for a, the, the movement of something which could, in theory, be infinitely fast, you see. So imagine that and then you calculate the rate of change between one point here, one point here, one point here, 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 and so on through the fluid. And that's the original idea to um, be able to sort of gain a mathematical hold, if you like, on a fluid, um, the movement of a fluid. And that's, that's where calculus, why calculus was invented pretty much. Um, it, it, it can also be generalised and um, adapted to sort of explain the flow of air over the wing of a plane or something like that and like I say, the, uh, the waves in an ocean or blood in the human body, anything to do with the fluid really that's moving, you, you can sort of use this idea of the infinitesimal points split, it, split up and then calculate the difference between point A and point B for example, that kind of thing and that's, that's basically what calculus is for pretty much. Um, and like I say, it just means the, the Latin word for pebble. It's really, really simple. I mean, imagine it's, it's thought of as a great idea now. Um, I'm not saying it isn't a great idea, I'm just saying that it originally, if you take away all the, the cultural associations really, and the, the intellectual associations with calculus, it's just an idea. You've got a movement, a fluid movement in front of you, let's say, and you've just got to measure it. So. You just imagine, okay, if we plot, say, plot A is here, plot B is here, and we time it somehow, the difference between time gives us the, the speed of the fluid, for example, um, or the viscosity, which means sort of stickiness, in a sense, resistance within the fluid. Um, and that's, that's the basic thing with calculus. It's really simple to understand in principle. Then time it actually gets complicated, which is, calculus is seen as extremely complicated, isn't it? And the same with algebra is as well. But um, the, only, the only time it gets really complicated is when you actually try and do the equations. When you're actually trying to measure something, then it will get complicated because you've got, you know, countless amounts of variables that might affect the flow of a fluid at any particular time, or any infinitesimal point, you see. There's loads of different factors to be taken into account. And that is complicated, but it's not impossible to understand. It's just, it just takes a lot of hard work, you see. But the actual principle of calculus is really simple. All you've got is a load of little points. You calculate the change between the points and try and measure it from that. Over time, using time as a measurement of some sort. 
And that, that's all it is with calculus. It's really, really, really simple to understand in principle. Like I say, it does get complicated when you try and actually use it for a practical purpose, but it's like measuring a building uh, and all the stresses and strengths in a building. You can understand the principle perfectly well without, without having to understand the equations and do the equations yourself. And you can still get as much fun out of it, if not more fun, because you'd have to do the equations, you see. And uh, you can still understand it really simply. And uh, that's about all I've got to say about calculus at the moment. As I remember new things, <coughs> I'll uh, make more videos about it. But this is just a really quick introduction to uh, calculus and differential calculus in particular, which means the difference between the two infinitesimal points. Okay.